how does one actually choose a mentor? How does what choose a mentor? Yes, sir. I, I I personally think I don't think you choose your mentors. I think the mentor is is again it goes back to vibration. You know, you can choose a mentor. You can choose a puff daddy to be your mentor, but you might not be on the same frequency as a puff daddy. Right. So you might not, you guys won't connect, or you might not get along, or you might have a fight. You know right. what I'm saying? Or be something that repels you from each other because your philosophies are different. Um, and so you know, it's like we we you know they say the teacher appears. I hear Bobby Hemmings say it all the time: the teacher appears when the student is ready. You know, we don't pick we don't pick those things. They they. Things don't happen to you, they happen for you. People come down your path and, and uh, while you're on the journey and you meet these people along your way and it doesn't have anything to do with race, gender. You know, here again, one of my great mentors is Dr. Willie Morrow's daughter, Cheryl Morrow, a young lady, you know, sharp. One of my favorite people to talk to, excuse the sirens. So good. But, you know, it's one of my favorite people to talk to, man. But uh, mentors are something that are attracted they're not chosen they're more attractive than anything based on where you're at in your life and what your philosophy is and and um what you choose for yourself what your goals are you know you're not going to attract a, a basketball mentor if your philosophy is real estate you know what I'm saying or your idea of what you want to do with something in real estate you know unless that person is in real estate they're not going to come saying hey man get the ball let me show you how to dribble let me show you how to you attract what you are you know, not what you are. So again, I, again, 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 and again, I like to connect it to relationships between men and women. You know, who's in your life is in your life for a reason. Mm -hmm. Nothing happens by chance. Everything's on purpose, you know. And a lot of times, you know, all of these personal relationships we have with people, they're really sharing with us valuable information about ourselves. You know, you think, oh, she's making me happy. I'm making him happy. But in actuality, you're supposed to be learning and seeing who you are as a person as you're interacting with this person. And that's what helps you shift your philosophy about yourself and about life. Yeah. You know, they t who's in front of you teaches you about yourself, basically. Your lady is teaching you about yourself. That's why women, as a rule, usually are made to test men. Yeah. Man's biggest test is a woman. She might say something to you a certain way. She'll show you how emotional you are. If you react to her, as soon as you react to her and you start arguing with her, now you're her home girl. She look at she's not even telling you this. She like, this nigga's a bitch. Look at this bitch ass nigga arguing with me. And I I'm fucking with him, but he look at him arguing with me. It's the same philosophy as children. Your children don't respect you if you yelling at them. You know when they respect you? The most when you calm. Hey, no, I said, come on over here. Don't do that. Did you hear what I said? And you give an eye contact and you tell them what's going on and why it's going on. And you don't fold under the pressure of daddy. I just want, what did I say? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on, come on. We're going out of here. See, reward and punishment has to be implemented in everything. And that's really all the woman wants to see if you're a man of your word, if you're about your philosophy. You can't, you, you told her what your philosophy was. You tried to show her what it was. You acted cocky. You acted like you was the coolest nigga in the world. She wants to see if you really that. And she's your test as a man. The masculine principle has to be tested in order to unfold into a greater awareness of himself. That's why mathematics, you one, she's two. Before one is zero, that's 360 degrees, a full circle. You're connected. To get to the God level, you have to be tested. There's no testimony without a test. And that's why everything you come in contact with and all the people you come in contact with, even our friends, they're made for you to take a look at yourself. And you all along, you was thinking it was about the fun and about them. No, you take a look at yourself. You're supposed to be getting valuable. You're supposed to be looking at the valuable information that's in front of you. Oh, I don't really like that. I'm not going to do that no more. I don't like when people talk to me like that. I don't really like having them kind of friends. I don't like, you know, it's what it is. Can't know you don't like something until you try it, right? They say a lot of times, well, some things you don't have to try to know you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. It's just, you know, that's what our relationships are. But it's all relationships will teach you a lot about business. When you start when you start mastering your relationship, you master a lot of things in business. Mm -hmm. You know? It first starts with yourself. 
you master the art of understanding that the masculine principle is conscious mind and the feminine principle is the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind never rejects you. She gonna give you what you want. Oh, you want that baby? Her, her womb is wide open to you. Mm. And every thought you have is a form of DNA. That's sperm, that's seed. You're planting seeds all day long. Some seeds get aborted. Some seeds don't give or not given birth to because you don't feel it. And the feeling principle is based in the heart chakra. And that's where the care principle is. Mm -hmm. If you don't care, it's not going to change. Until you care, things won't change. You got to care. You want to see change? Start caring about it. <laughs> <laughs> You want your skin better, you want to not have bumps on your face, start drinking more. When you care enough to drink water and you start looking at what to eat and what to do, things change. Mm -hmm. Everything's based on care. Mm -hmm.